Hi there, welcome back to Geek's Bathhouse. As you can see, I am in the process of darkening some soap. Over here we have our Hearthstone soaps. If you've missed that video, I will leave a little link. Check the corner of the screen where the eye is. You can watch that one. Um, today I am going to be making some Batman embeds. So I am just taking the leftover soap from the Hearthstones and adding in some activated charcoal to get our soap from gray to black to use for our Batman embeds. I added titanium dioxide to lighten this up for the other soap, so now I'm having to go the other way. So it's taking a little bit of extra activated charcoal to really get this all the way black, but that's okay. We'll get there and get some Batman's poured. Right now we're really dark gray, so we're getting close. The soap batter is pretty thick. If you've watched that other video, you know that I'm working on formulating a recipe that works well in these silicone molds and doesn't take forever to come out of the molds. I'm gonna add in a little more of this black pearl mica. This may be about as dark as we're gonna be able to get it. because we've already got titanium dioxide and we were trying to do a lighter gray. So this is a pretty dark gray, not quite black, but close enough. So here's our Batman mold we're gonna use. We're gonna be embedding these Batmans into a loaf, similar to how we did the TARDIS recipe if you saw that one. If you missed it, I will again put a link and you can go check that out. I'm going to try to, this is super thick, so I'm actually going to try to really like force it down in there because I want these to be solid Batmans and I don't want to get a lot of air in there. going to be a little bit of a challenge, but we'll get there. If I can just make sure, and just make sure I smack it down really well. We'll, uh, I'm just kind of make a mess and press it in there. <laughs> you guys are enjoying the videos. Thank you so much for stopping by, checking out my projects, especially those of you who are hitting the like button and sharing the channel. Those of you that have subscribed, really appreciate it. If you guys have any ideas for other geeky, nerdy soap things that you would like to see me make, any kind of bath and beauty product, doesn't have to be cold process soap, we can do other things too. Leave me some suggestions in the comment box and I would be happy to make you a video. Alright guys, I am going to work on cleaning this up and I will use the rest of this soap in our Darth Vader mold. Stay tuned for that video in the coming weeks and I will see you guys when it is time to unmold these and do the next step in our Batman soap. Alright guys, we're back for the next step in our multi-process Batman embed soap. So here are our Batman soaps. As you can see, I've already unmolded a couple. Unmolded one early, as usual. Got a little wonky. And then I have one here that I've already kind of tested in our oval mold. So this will give you the idea of what we're doing. We're going to take the Batman, put it in the oval. Then we're going to make ourselves a yellow gold melt and pour, pour that around for the Batman emblem. That's the idea. So first things first, we're going to get all these Batman emblems popped out. This mold is an ice cube mold. It's available on Amazon, but because it's an ice cube mold, it's pretty stiff. It's not as bendy as like, see this silicone mold? This one doesn't have the same flexibility, so it's a little bit harder to get 
the soaps out, which is part of the reason why I had to wait extra long on these because I don't want to smash them up and damage them too bad. So we're gonna pop all these out as gently as possible and then get going. And it's okay if the faces get smashed up a little bit. If you remember in our TARDIS video, if you didn't see that one, you can click the eye in the top of the screen and that'll pop you on over and you can see that one. But this mold is very similar in that we have a groove here. So we're gonna be cutting that part off and not using it so that we have a flat Batman without the groove for the same reason we did it in the TARDIS video so that all of our embeds will line up side to side evenly like that without any gaps in between. If we were to line up these with the little lip on it, we'd have a, a Batman shaped gap in there. We don't want that. So I'll get these all popped out and I will be right back. Okay, so that's all of our Batmans unmolded. The next step is going to be to just cut all the little faces off. I will do that real quick and then we will get our melt and pour melted and colored and get going. All right that was the last one and as you can see cutting off the faces gives me these nice thin little Batmans that we can save and use for another project later. Try not to waste anything if I can help it. Next we are going to pop our clear melt and pour into the microwave for probably this amount of melt and pour will probably take about two to three 10 to 15 second bursts in my microwave and then we will color it and get started. All right, so as my melt and pour was melting in the microwave, I went ahead and got all the Batman's logos perfectly kind of centered in my ovals. I'm gonna try really hard not to move the mold. I am going to be using bright yellow raincoat, which has some paint on it from Mad Micas with probably a touch of this shimmer gold mica powder from Nurture Soap to give us our color to go around the Batman logo. This bright yellow raincoat is just gorgeous. It's a nice bright yellow, which is perfect. I'm kind of wanting to go for the, the classic like comic book yellow with this Batman, but I do think just a touch of the gold to bring it down a notch and also give it a little bit of shimmer. Because who doesn't like shimmer? So we're gonna give all this just a spritz with some rubbing alcohol, just to help everything stick and to pop all the bubbles in our melt and pour. And now we are going to pour Delicately, it's gonna be okay if it gets on top of the the Batman a little bit. We can just kinda of clean that up at a later date. I may have to cut these again, kind of like I cut the Batmans. So it's gonna be alright. Oh, that already looks so good. Actually. No, but I'm, ooh, that Batman shifted. No, sir. No, you don't. Get back over there. Oh! Get back in place. Back where you belong. All right. guys that is about it for these Batmans I will bring you back when I am ready to unmold them and make the loaf soap we are back to briefly show you unmolding our Batman emblem soaps I've already unmolded and cut one so you can see how they came out so awesome so these have only been in the mold for just maybe two three hours since I poured them melt and pour sets up really quickly especially with it being a little bit cooler as you can see they just pop right out so we'll just pop these out 
real quick and then I'll show you how I'm kind of cutting them. I won't waste your time making you watch me cut all of them. Um, but I will show you one just so you get a full view of the whole process. And then we will return when we are ready to put these in a loaf. This, as you can see, that shows you the difference between like the super flexible silicone and the harder flex of this ice cube mold, which is still silicone, but just doesn't have nearly as much give. So melt and pour is very hard and it's more difficult to cut with a wire cutter, which is why I'm trying to go ahead and get these done while they're just set up. And the challenge is to try to get the cut as flat as possible that you can see it's still not quite perfect, but I want to be able to line these up like this in the middle of a loaf so that we'll have a loaf of soap with the Batman logo in the middle. That is the idea. So just using my cheese cutter here, trying to line it up as straight as possible and give one solid cut all the way down and there we have it revealed. And I'll have to do that on both sides because the melt and pour kind of seeped underneath the Batman logos as well. So I'm losing quite a bit of soap off of these. I air quote because I will definitely be taking these pieces and using them for other things. Uh, you guys know I try not to waste. So it, those soaps will go to other purposes for sure. But there we go. That is the idea. And once I get all of these cut, we probably won't need but about, I don't know, five or six of them. And we'll plan to sandwich them together as best as possible throughout the middle of our loaf. I will be back when I have everything cut and set up to do the loaf. All right, we're back and ready to turn our Batman embeds into a loaf soap. I have just mixed up my lye solution. We're gonna pour that hot lye water straight over our hard oils. I do have some cocoa butter in the recipe this time, so it might take just a little bit more work to get everything melted, but I'm trying to get the recipe a little bit harder so that it'll unmold better. Got you guys zoomed in a little closer. Hopefully you can see what's going on a little bit better this way. Just gonna sit here and stir, stir, stir. I still have a couple chunks of cocoa butter that just aren't quite wanting to melt, which is okay. That was to be expected. I'll hit them with the stick blender and see if that helps move them along a little bit. There we go. That got them all blended in. Now I'm gonna give my liquid oils a quick stir up here. They have all my powdered additives down here in the bottom. There's some colloidal oatmeal, some kaolin clay, and some goat milk powder mixed in here. So I just wanna get those kinda up and in suspension before I pour my liquids down into my, what are also now liquid, but where are my hard oils? All right. I am also soaping with a water discount this time, about a two to one ratio, so pretty steep, not as steep as you can go, but um, I'd want this soap to be able to unmold pretty quickly so that I can get it cut, because the longer those embeds sit, and harden, the harder they will be to cut through. Um, I don't think that my wire cutter, my wire cheese cutter that I usually use, 
is going to be able to cut through them, I'll probably have to cut them by hand with a knife. So due to that steeper water discount, we're already a little bit thicker than we normally are, but that's okay because we are doing, I'm gonna go in with my fragrance real quick. That's okay because we are just doing one color. This loaf is just gonna be solid black with the Batman logo going through the middle. I'm gonna hit this with the stick blender again real quick. Adding in that fragrance oil and also our liquid oils has already brought it back a little bit. Sometimes when you use this method, when you have just your hard oils and you add in your lye solution, it can kind of get thick on you quickly, but it thins back out when you add the rest of that liquid back in. For my colorant today, I am just going to be using activated charcoal to get a nice black color for our soap and also bring in all the lovely soap qualities that come with activated charcoal. That has got us to a beautiful black color already. I think I'm actually gonna stick blend this just a little bit longer to try and thicken it up just a little bit because I'm concerned that when I put my Batman emblems in there and then go to tap it down to get all the air bubbles out that I don't want my emblems to sink too far down into the soap because I do want them ideally to sit kind of right in the middle. So um, in an effort to help that, I'm going to fill a little more than halfway so that when I tap them down and they sink a little bit, hopefully they'll sink to right where I want them and not down too far. And I'm also gonna make this a little bit thick so that it'll help support those emblems. So we'll stick blend a little more and then we'll get ready to pour. I was really pleased with how the TARDIS soap came out that was a similar method to this. If you haven't seen that video, you can click the little eye up in the corner of your screen. I'll have a link to it for you so you can go check that one out. Um, but I was really pleased with how that one came out. So hopefully this one will also come out equally as awesome. My plan for the top of this soap is to do a little bit of a yellow mica drizzle and just do some textured peaks on the top. So I'll have to let it set up a little bit so that we can get that texture going. Oh, this is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This isn't a super exciting pour, but you did get to see a little more interest, hopefully, in the embed making process. So we'll just go like I said, a little bit more than halfway is my goal. Out there looks good. Tap that down. And then the idea is, and let me make sure, I'm gonna make sure all of these are facing the right way. We're just gonna, there we go. Plop them in, one right next to the other, all the way across the soap. They don't, of course they're not perfect, but hopefully what will happen is when we go to cut it, we'll cut a little bit in, and then hopefully from there on as we cut, we won't hit right in between any. It's just gonna be sort of a luck of the draw thing. We're just gonna hope for the best. So now we'll go in the rest of our soap here, gently spreading that out. 
I again did the same thing that I did for the TARDIS soap in that I weighed my embeds to get a rough idea of how many ounces they were in relation to the size of the recipe so that I could compensate the size of my recipe because I didn't want to have a whole bunch of excess soap. Although you have seen me on many occasions have a lot of excess soap. That's how this Batman project came to be actually. We don't need to save any of this for anything because we only have the one color and it's all going right in there. I'm scraping this out as best as possible. Just piling it on there. All right, I'll get that out of the way. I'm gonna move this a little bit closer to me so it's a little easier for me to work. To push all this down. It is a little bit thick at this point. And then I'm going to tap it again. There we go. Now I have a little bit of oil here to the side in this little container. I'm going to add a bit of our bright yellow raincoat mica from Mad Micas and we'll do a little bit of a mica drizzle on top. We will mica drizzle this on. Since it's so set up, I don't know if we'll be able to get a lot of texture. I think I'm just going to go in and kind of swirl it around. Let's see if we can peek it a little bit here. I'm just gonna have to kind of play with it. It's had longer to set up than I wanted it to have, but that's okay. Actually, we're getting kind of a nice textured top now. I'm having to kind of dig in there and loosen it back up, but we lost some of the gold from the mica drizzle with the texture, but I do like the way that looks. This is one of those tasks where, tasks where you could literally just sit here and keep going forever. Um, If I had a pipette, I might pipette some on, but I, I don't know if, if I try to drizzle it like this, it's just going to, well, well, we'll fling it on there and be happy with it, I guess. Because I did want a little bit of color on the top of the soap to kind of indicate what was going on inside the bar so that it's not just totally black. There we go. All right, we're gonna just be happy with that. So I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. I'll bring you guys in for a close up of the wet soap top because I always think wet soaps are pretty. And then I will bring you back when we're ready to cut. Alright, it is the moment of truth. We've got our Batman soap out of the mold. This is actually less than 24 hours since pouring this one. The sodium lactate really helped and the cocoa butter. As you can see, we have a little Batman logo peeking out. I'm going to try using my little wire cutter, but not sure it's going to get through those embeds. If it doesn't, we will. I also have a knife and cutting board standing by. We're gonna see what happens. Oh. Yeah, definitely 
quite a bit of resistance in there. All right, moment of truth. Da, 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 da. Ah, <laughs> look how awesome that came out, you guys. I love it. That is pretty much exactly what we were going for. May not be quite centered, but you know what? That is a-okay with me. So, we were actually able to get through it with the wire cutter going gently. So I'm gonna keep going with that and hope for the best. Here we go. I wanna use the wire cutter if possible because it cuts so much straighter and neater than I do with a knife. There we go. Oh, that one's going to need a little bit of cleanup. We got a little bit of smear. That is one thing that does happen with your wire. Sometimes the wire cutter will drag through the soap a little bit. Um, a lot of times if you have like additives that you put on top, little sprinkles on top or something like that, sometimes you'll want to turn it to the side so that you don't drag those through as you cut but we can clean up that little bit and it should be all right here we go again oh yeah we are getting some smear but i will get those cleaned up and it's gonna look awesome I am loving it, guys. I hope you have enjoyed coming along with me to make this Batman soap. I really appreciate all the support on the channel. If you are continuing to enjoy my videos, please don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified of our next video. And of course, share the geeky soapy love with all your friends. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye-bye.